Welcome back to another video, and in this one we're going to be covering the new event coming to Paladins in the next patch, which is patch 1.1. The update notes just came out like 45 minutes ago, so not even in PTS yet, so this is going to be about a week or two before this actually hits, but this is the new event. Kind of similar to some events that Smite has had, if you're similar or if you're familiar with that, which is basically you uh, can purchase three bundles and you get a giant reward skin at the end and you get a bunch of little other stuff but we'll go into details real quick so it's called rise of furia and that is based on the new champion furia she looks oh my god amazing like she looks really good in game but the her kit oh, a little op it seems like but the one thing that um high res Alyssa stressed was like she doesn't have a self heal she's a support so we'll get over that um and she can heal allies pretty well but she has no self heal like she, so you go into combat and you really got no way to get you know your health up unless you use one of her talents and stuff like that or um the talents but different cards and stuff so really really excited to play her as a support main i just cannot wait so <laughs> super excited uh the origin so in the village of cirrus a dark hunter demands satisfaction a sister is chosen by the magistrate doomed to be sacrificed to the state of the appetite of the abyss her sister cannot stay it against the abyss alone but all is possible with the eternal Pyre, Pyre, I don't know how you say that. Two sisters died by fate. Two primeval forces locked in war. Witness the rise of Fury, the Angel of Vengeance. So, just kind of like an overview of what's going on. And this is Furia, obviously the new champion. Stand against the abyss. Those who seek to help, those who seek to help others, have nothing to fear of her fury wrath. Um, those who would do harm within the realm would do well to make their final amends. Furia is here, and her rage will engulf her foes. So she's got this like kind of paladin feel to her ironically we're in the game paladins but like not quite oh she does have wings and her wings look fantastic her ultimate um she has like kind of this little transformation thing she becomes immune for two seconds and then for eight seconds i think you get like movement speed and your allies get movement speed or something like that i don't know we'll get into more details when uh, i do a patch notes review but escape the abyss so this is what i think oh, okay so we can okay there's nothing there this is what like the new event thing is going to be like i think it's a tdm so use your champion's abilities to scale the spire oh so you got to go up this but watch out the abyssal lord is on your tail so i'm not sure what this is let's start back up here so this is i guess that's the top um i'm not sure what that is oh wait okay here we go there's different um writing for each picture i didn't know that so the abyss hungers race to the top of the demonic spire avoiding rockets fired by an abyssal lord then prepare for a winner-take-all team deathmatch to escape the eternal... Okay, so that's what it is. It's like you gotta fight your way to the top, and maybe you can die prior to getting to the top? And prepare for a winner-take-all team deathmatch. Or is it like... Does everyone get to partake in the team deathmatch when you get to the top? I'm not quite sure how this um, works out. So use your champion's abilities. We already went over that. Uh, collect powerful boosts. So I guess this is kind of a view... I guess would that be a boost that you could collect? And you gotta jump up on... Oh, wow. This might be fun. This is gonna be a fun event. Brave the Abyss to snag boost, granting ultimate charge for the entire team. Wow. All right, so this is interesting. I'm not... It's like a TDM meets a new game mode. Like, I don't even know what to call it. You just scale to the top. You try to get to the top. It sounds interesting. And the map looks like it's going to be insane. Prepare for combat. <clears throat> Once atop the spire, fight to escape the abyss in team deathmatch. So I'm guessing it's just teams of five v five, and then race to the top. Maybe maybe whoever gets to the top first kind of has that advantage because you have that you know viewpoint from the top. I don't know. We'll have to see. Super excited and intrigued about it though. So here are the three bundles that are purchasable. Uh, and you have to purchase all three of these if you want that Drogo skin and the extra rewards. And there are things called Abyssal Shards in this event, which I'm going to cover right now because I got super excited when they announced this. You can use these Abyssal Shards, which you earn from, you know, purchasing the bundles, to other things in the event. And one of them, I believe, if I'm not mistaken, is Divine Cirrus. They're bringing that back for this and you can purchase her with Abyssal Shards, I think. Think. I think that's what they said, and I'm super excited about that because Divine Cirrus is, God, that skin is amazing, and I never got it when they had the VIP system out. I just 
didn't collect enough. So the event offers three exciting new bundles. Purchase any bundle to receive Furia's Blessing, allowing access to a secret shop containing exclusive cosmetics unlocked with official shards. There you go. I should probably read before talking. Each bundle comes with an epic skin, MVP pose, and 200 abyssal shards. So if you want to access the event store specific to this event only, you have to buy at least one bundle. Um, and then once you do, you get that skin. Obviously, you get an MVP pose for that skin and that champion. And then you also get 200 Abyssal Shards. Abyssal Shards. It's kind of hard to say fast. So we have Demonette Maeve. This, I think, looks a lot better in the player card. It still looks cool in-game. Um, it's just something with the colors are off to me with her horns for some reason. But she's kind of like this demonic little demon seductress looking type thing i don't know very weird um and then we have archangel tyra this skin is sick really really cool i mean you can't really talk a whole lot about it because it's like an archangel she's a paladin archangel type thing you see it a lot but it never gets old to me and then we have fallen androxus which is pretty cool as well kind of like the anti-androxus he's more of like a fallen angel type thing which also comes with an mvp pose as well and then here if you buy all three of these bundles You'll get, obviously, three skins, three MVP poses, and 600 shards. And then along with that, you get this for free, the Abyssal Lord Drogos. And this one, these these are all, like, part of their new skin system that they've been doing, and they have been for a couple patches now. But this one is, like, the true first look at what they can really do with the new skin system. They said that if, if they tried to create this in the last, um, the mix and match skins they wouldn't have been able to do 20% of what they could on this. So, crazy. I think he's even a bigger scale. It reminds me of Demonic Pact Anubis to where, like, he's almost a little too big in-game. His wings are huge, and they're animated when he flies around. It's crazy. If you if you are a big fan of, like, the, um, the Void skins and Smite, I think you're going to love this one. And Drogos is amazing. So, you unlock all three bundles, receive a free bonus skin, Abyssal Lord Drogos. Plus, you'll get a special MVP pose for him as well. So that's four MVP poses total. You get the title, The Demon, and you get the Forsaken Loading Frame, which looks fantastic. I saw a little preview of that during the patch notes. You get an Effigy Death Stamp and a thousand Abyssal Sards, and then he's only available during this event. Get him. All right, so this is only time you can get him. That's it. He's limited after this. So throughout this entire event, you get four skins, four MVP poses, and 1,600 shards. I'm not quite sure what's going to be in the Abyssal Store. I know one of them is going to be Divine Cirrus, so that's exciting. Uh, we also have oh, Secret Event Store. Oh, here we go. Here's the Event Store. So the first one is a Khan Roaming Emote, which is pretty cool. This costs 100 Abyssal Shards. That's another thing. They're bringing Roaming Emotes. Uh, Khan has one, I think. Makoa has one. Makoa's is really cool. We'll probably see that in a little bit. So does Khan's. You can buy that for 100. Cirrus also has one that costs 100. There's actually more to this than you're seeing. Um, she, I'm surprised they didn't show all of it. That's, that's kind of sad. But um, she's actually like summoning her weapon, and her weapon is projecting this like shadowy, scary face that's she's spooking around. So it not quite complete there for some reason, but it does look better than just that. Um, and then we have Makoa's breakdancing one, which is great. You could just walk around breakdancing the entire time with Makoa. Pretty cool. That also cost 100. So all the roaming emotes are 100. Then we have a Death Stare animated spray, which is pretty cool. You can see it animating there. Also 100. We have a corrupted animated avatar. Also 100. I think these are all 100. Rise of Fury a music theme. Uh, why did it just? Okay, there we go. And then Divine Sirius cost 1,000. So two, four, six. You can only get. 600 abyssal shards through this now i'm not sure if you earn abyssal shards through just playing the event that might be a thing as well but if you can't earn abyssal shards that way the only way you could even really get this seer skin would to be you know purchasing everything but you might be able to earn some abyssal shards during the event as well and that is it so does everything in this patch or not in this patch but in this event if you guys enjoyed it, be sure to drop a like, hit subscribe for more content like this. Social media links are in the description. And let me know if you guys are excited for Furia. Um, go check out the patch notes and look at her abilities because they, she looks freaking fun, especially if you're a support player. So that is it for this video, guys. As always, thank you for watching.